hey guys what's up with you um very sad today you can literally see it on my face there was a story i heard i've heard about it before but i really didn't consider it that much but yesterday it came with this heavy force it's about the timmy adigo story the owner of my magazine and um if you know me you know that I get really angry and I take rape or sex or molestation really seriously. It's something personal for me. And um, is if you don't know about the story, I'm just going to rush through it. I was part of the ministry. So I attended the program. I was not a worker. I attended the program as a teenager. So he's the founder of um, my magazine. They, it's a very big outreach or should i call it a very big church they have various um centers where they distribute my magazine and it is totally free i heard of the program through um a schoolmate when i was in secondary school that was when i was in high school when i was in secondary school i heard of the program and we used to go eat a saturday program man if you go for that program it's amazing the first time i ever went to that program i was excited when i got home it's about sin it's about purity it's about your virginity it's about not allowing anybody take advantage of you it's about you staying pure till you get married till you make those married marital vows and it was amazing seeing somebody comes to tell you that your virginity is precious, that being a virgin is a thing to be treasured and not the other way around. So we, if I tell you, when we go for that program, if I say we are not more than 3,000 eh, in the auditorium, I am lying. It was that huge. And whenever you're going for the program, you take gifts. We always go with exchange of gifts. You take gifts, and when you're coming back, you once you pick gift, you go to you drop it at the altar. And when it's time to take gifts, you just walk up, pick anyone, and you leave. It was something that we always look forward to. The magazine were well detailed, well detailed. So coming online to see that this person i have held in high esteem was molesting teenagers and he has the guts to say it was a conceptual thing how do you sleep with teenagers and say like underage these are underage girls because when we went for that program my friend used to take a sister who was nine you see kids nine six young girls it's a program for girls and guys so you see six nine so you are people who believe in you you brainwash them and you have sex with them and you say it's consexual i don't understand how having sex with a teenager is consexual it doesn't even make sense like i'm still sitting down here trying to figure it out i slept i couldn't even really sleep because between god it's it's this this was really annoying imagine waking up one day and knowing that somebody you had on is team all through your childhood was a joke 2016 i still went about doing some research and checking on them if the program was still there it was already large and okay some people come and say the story is not true but it's not true and you dissolve the old church just like that and you started you you dissolve the old church you didn't give people an explanation why you were closing down why you were shutting down even people who own hotels when they are shutting down they give customers reason why they shut down you close a whole place people come together you didn't even go to apologize to these teenagers you didn't even call them together because sex or brainwashing people do you know how it affects people psychologically do you know how what people now trust is going to be an issue this is supposed to be a video about my weekly life in lagos but here i am being angry <sighs> nothing pisses me off more than i have confidence i have trust in you and you just throw it off the wing what is it with people and sex like what is it with people and sex are you just in this life to have sex what is it about these three later words? What is it about sex? Huh? I just don't know. Don't know. There are some people that know that things are going wrong in organization, but they don't they feel they don't have the voice to speak. So they wait till when maybe somebody just blows it up. 
and he's not addressing the issue as i yesterday i had it was on ig with his wife like instagram with his wife and they were doing giveaway and they already created another branch um is it heaven of love i i really don't know if i got that rightly and um they're just moving on with their life like nothing happened like but are you are you considering the other kids are you considering what happens to this to this young ladies are you considering that the damage who would they run to who would they trust this world is a messed up place i keep saying it this world is really messed up i don't understand anymore i don't get it anymore like you created a ministry and you become a joke why because of sex really i don't know what to say i don't know just sad i've been sad like it's annoying this is not something to laugh about this is not something to sit down and just forget about i've just been thinking of those kids how are they going to be do you know the thing the thing is that i have a friend i had we used to be friends but i lost contact i don't know i had a friend who at 11 years old her uncle molested her was touching her and um she could not talk to anybody she didn't know who to talk to she didn't know who to run to her parents were late so her uncle was continuously touching her Till she was 16 he was always touching her. i was sleeping with her and um, she became addicted to it now she sells her body the last i heard of her she's in u.s and she said she's into prostitution that she's making money they use her like dog but she doesn't care that she's having her money that she she has a right now and um, she feels is normal she feels oh she can't stay a day without somebody touching her she can't stay there whether it's a girl or it's a guy she cannot stay a day without somebody touching her and i remember when she was in that in lagos when she was still in nigeria whenever i call her it's always a guy that is picking her call they'll be like call back she's busy she's not reachable and when she finally calls me and i'm like what are you doing she's like eh you know now a girl's a girl's body needs some um what's it called electronic be electric torch and stuff this is what some people do to people that they do they don't even consider it in the long run how does she get over this because i tried to talk to her and she's like oh the only way you can't you you would get me out is if you're of service you you continue so i know that it's just one person how do i do that i thought that you need to go to a therapist you need to see a doctor you need but she was not going to listen now she she felt oh instead of me doing it for pleasure let me start doing it to make money out of it and this is sad because this is what people make other people people that had dreams that had visions for themselves they just derail because of what your 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 hunger your your um greed does to people there are people out there who need sex who you could pay to must you do it to people who comes under the umbrella of your guidance of 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 your shield for advice it is wrong I don't want to even talk about this anymore. Let's move on to something else. So you know how we do. Every Friday is how I share my weekly experience in Lagos. I'm sorry about the noise you're hearing. About my um, weekly life in Lagos. I'm going to tell you about something that I saw recently. So um, a girl a girl um, shared a story that... I think I think she was not the one that shared it. It was her, boy, um, her friend, her best friend that shared it. I'm sorry about the sound you're hearing. Um, it was her best friend that shared it that she went out with her boyfriend and the boyfriend's friend. They went out and um, they were talking about places they want to go to this December and stuff. And she said she wanted to go to Is it Shiro? I don't. I, I I couldn't get that. I think I've not heard of that place. I couldn't get the name. And then her boyfriend made a joke. And this, she went out with a boy's friend's friend. The boyfriend made a joke and said, ah, you want to go to where? That, I think he said, the only money, that the only thing that your money will be able to afford there is a fruit juice or something. I, I didn't get out parts very, very well. And she said, they started all laughing at her. They were laughing. They, they like, it was like a joke. They laughed at her. She was a laughing stock for some minutes. And then they changed the discussion. 
And when they got home, she told the guy that she didn't like what he did. And he was like, she's overreacting to it. It doesn't matter. And she said she had to, she just told the guy she was leaving his house. And she called him up and told him that they are done. And um, she said, because there is no house, she's not going to see his friends. And they're always going to see her as that girl that earns 35,000 naira. And um, it's she's always going to be that thing of disgrace to them. And she said, okay, she broke up with the with the guy and she was telling her friend the story so her friend shared it on the internet and somebody was saying is that enough reason to break up with your boyfriend and for me it is not enough reason to break up with your boyfriend i don't know we undo things differently yeah we undo things differently and we see things differently you tell me i'm ending 35k and all i could afford is a fruit juice that's just the wake up call for me to work more or for me to do something and it depends on the person you're dating what kind of joke do you guys joke around yourself okay fine it is his friends it's see it's a matter of understanding hmm? it's a matter of understanding that is not enough reason to break up with somebody you love i love you so much and i'm breaking up with you because you made me a mess around a few of your friends and they joke about it move on <laughs> just just move on it's not enough reason that's just i don't know how to start explaining how to go deep into it but that is not enough reason to break up with somebody you love because they joked about you know sometimes people joke about things people take things the wrong way and people go too far with things so it is not enough reason for you to break up with your boyfriend hmm? you have to understand the kind of person you're dating if you understand the kind of person you're dating, I'm sure you know that that guy must have that kind of bad mouth and stuff. So if you understand the kind of person you're dating, you will know that. It's either you are, you feel um, little, as they said that thing, you felt little. 35k is a lot of money. What are you saying? It's a lot of money. Life comes in stages. Very soon you will get to where you end 100, 200, 300. So enjoy the stage. They just they, they made fun of a stage in your life. So it's not enough. If you really love that guy, it's not enough for you to break up with him. Hmm? So the number three thing I want to talk about today is... Uh, I don't know. I'm so not happy. I'm so not happy, but... I'm just trying to move on. I'm just trying to be fine. I'm just trying to be okay. This old news and stuff just spotted it for me. It's it for me. And it's not something that I am so great at handling. It's just going to mess up my day today. And I'm going to be fine. But guys, Lagos is a lot of things. Yesterday, do you guys know that he tried, like, Rin tried to fool us? Like it, it, <laughs> rain tried to fool us. He acted like it was gonna rain, and then he just left us. And there was this mad sun. I could, I can't even do this video in the house. I'm about going out. It's hot. It's hot. Yesterday it just started drizzling, and we all thought it was gonna rain. Everybody was already happy. I could see it on people's status, and I could see it on some people's tweets. <laughs> and then the rain just gave us back. Bay. Just stop. Like it just stopped halfway. I just stop halfway and um yeah we are back to square one sun heat and everything can you imagine today i'm not sweating i think I'm, my anger is just draining out all the water in me that's why i'm not sweating but guys this world is full of some things sometimes you trust people and they disappoint you sometimes you confide in people and they disappoint you sometimes people feel like they don't owe you an explanation the thing is that I respect your office and I talk to you and I trust in you and uh, I believe in you and I could confound in you. You owe me a lot of things. Don't do things the wrong way and feel like, oh, it's my life, it's my this, it's my that. It's not. Let's learn to do the right thing because your life, your life that affects somebody else's and at the long run, are you ready for the decisions you make? So, I don't know. But I think they should reach out to every... If, if there's a possibility that they could get the contact of every teenager that, had, that was sexually... Um, I was in a sexual relationship with um, 
Timmy Adigu. I think those kids need therapy. They need some health check. They need to see a doctor. They need some tests and stuff. Just stay strong and try to protect yourself. Don't allow anybody brainwash you or that. You see, the, the thing is, somebody said something that a friend knew all this was happening and a friend almost lost a faith in God. The thing I tell people every time, know God for yourself. Know God for yourself and hold onto his word. Don't know God because of your pastor. Don't know God because of the way I serve God. Know God for yourself. Don't just listen to what everything somebody tells you. Like you go to church and somebody just, a, a, the pastor preaches to you and you just take everything. You just hold everything. You just swallow it. You don't go back, sit down and study by, Bible, read the Bible by yourself and understand. You're beautiful. I don't know if I should say you should subscribe to my YouTube channel, but you know what is right. Just do what is right. And if you, you can give this video a thumbs up. YouTube algorithm loves all the thumbs up, all the comments, and um, you can share what you think or what you feel. And um, I don't know, just be good and have uh, a fantastic week. Happy Friday. I'm sorry I have this attitude. I'm sorry I'm not that vibrant, but I love you guys. That's just it from me to you. I love you.